Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, we're going to be talking about AMD and Xilinx. So AMD is supposedly rumored to partner up with Xilinx. And at the moment, I think investors want AMD to merge with Xilinx because AMD stock today is popping. At least in my opinion. While Xilinx is kind of red today, that means that I think it... I think not not a hundred percent just my opinion that investors in AMD want AMD to merge with Xilinx and that's why AMD stock is green today if investors didn't want AMD to merge with Xilinx AMD stock would have been red today at least that's my opinion anyways I don't know for sure but I have done a a little bit of research into Xilinx and Xilinx is a pretty oh hey I got an ad for Giga Meadows that's hilarious it's the first time I got an ad for Giga Meadows I usually get an ad for like uh, FPX Meadows and now I'm getting ads for Giga Meadows it's like YouTube's telling me to I mean not YouTube uh, it's like um, Giga Meadows is doing some promotion for Giga, like Giga Meadows doing promotion, trying to get people to buy the stock. Maybe I don't know. Whatever, I don't like. It's not a big deal to me, but um, it's kind of cool to see. Anyways, yeah, Xilinx is red while AMD is green. That means that Xilinx is um, Xilinx, like. Xilinx is a good investment. I kind of got sidetracked it, but Zy uh, not not Xilinx is a good investment, but Xilinx has some pretty cool technology on it. Like they are working on 5G technology. They have self-driving technology. They have uh, server technology uh, and uh, a lot of other things. Like they have some really cool stuff in the company and the two companies could together could make some pretty cool CPUs and GPUs because AMD could use Xilinx engineers with their own engineers to make some really cool new tech from uh, Xilinx information they have. They can combine their knowledge of making their CPU with AMD's knowledge of making the x86 CPU. They can merge the two and make some make a killer product a killer product for the consumer market on the CPU front and they can also make a killer product with the new GPU uh, uh making a new GPU architecture I I would love the two I would love to see the two companies merge together I think it would be awesome and their revenues and profit would skyrocket the uh if if it was if Xilinx wasn't was bought out with shares the cash position would skyrocket the debt would also a little bit skyrocket too because Xilinx does have a little bit of debt so their debt would double but the but the um, cash on the balance sheet would double the uh, revenues would increase by 50% their profits would increase by a decent amount because Xilinx is a very profitable company. And on top of that, because Xilinx right now pays a dividend of 38 cents, uh, that means that they can get rid of those dividends and they, and they can use that towards growth instead of paying investors dividends. And that, that's a good, that's a big bonus in my opinion. So... I, I, I like to see the two companies combine and as we can see AMD stock is getting pushed up right now that means that investors want investors want AMD to merge with Xilinx so we'll see what happens uh, Nvidia this morning is green up $14.90 Hylion is down this morning $1.66 ouch Ouch! Uh, workhorse up this morning nine dollar nine point zero eight percent. Uh, DPHC is up this morning two dollars and ninety five cents. Uh, Tesla this morning is up ten dollars 
Jeep Green Power Motor Company this morning is up 14 cents. Solo this morning is up 3 cents, 1.15%. 1, 1 uh, kind of sad but about this, but hey, it's green. Uh, we'll see where investors push this baby, push this stock. I really believe in this company. And uh, I think, and if they had news today, I think the stock would have been green, like really green, like up ten percent. But no news, and it's it's starting to fall. Uh, Apple this morning is up big time out of the Fang stock. Why? Because they are having their new iPhone release coming here, coming up here very soon, and big money is pushing into this stock. And on top of that, what the Wall Street analyst guy. That talked about uh, that talks about workhorse and Diamond Peak Holdings made a video about Apple not too long ago, and then today Apple is up big time, four point one six percent. That's hilarious. Kensington Capital Acquisition Corp up twenty six cents this morning, one point uh, one point five percent. Trying this morning up four percent. For uh, Hennessy Capital Acquisition Corp neutral this morning, Pivot Investment down 14 cents. Neo is having a nice day today, up 43 cents. What's Plug Power doing? Plug Power. Plug is down this morning to 49 cents. Lithium America Corporation this morning down. 91 cents. Uh, there's also PLL. I bet you that one is down too. PLL. PLL stock. PLL down 8.34% this morning. GameStop. Woo! GameStop down 61 cents. Am I shocked about this? Absolutely not. I told you guys that this would happen. Uh, right now, it looks like it might possibly bounce in the short term. Or we can see this thing just sell off to like $10 a day. Who knows what's going to do. I'm not the one that controls the market. I just participate in the market. Short sellers and uh, big money ultimately is in the battlegrounds of where the stock price goes at the end of the day. ACB up this morning 13 cents. Do you, you know, ACB, you know, is still loved by big money, or else it wouldn't be green. I honestly think ACB should be down. Uh, canopy growth this morning is up 90 cents. Afria this morning is up 22 cents. Tilray this morning is up 16 cents, was pulling back a little bit. Kron is up this morning and look at that. Look at Kron and Tilray. They're like the exact same chart. Afria is at least holding its ground a little bit, but it looks the same thing. Canopy is just running straight to the sky. ACB is volatile, but it's still green. You know, it's just hilarious. Hexo is even up this morning. Uh, up to... 2.11% OGI I bet you is up this morning No, nope, OGI is down this morning. How about Sundial Growers? Sundial Growers down this morning uh, Half a penny I think Sundial Growers is, growers is going to be forced to dilu uh, To do a reverse split here in the new future like for example big money doesn't love Sundial Growers But they still love Aurora just saying, just pointing out obvious because uh, just looking at the charting, it, it, Aurora is green. While Aurora should be trading at two dollars in my opinion, but big money doesn't want Aurora to trade at two dollars. But Sundial Grows get no love from big money because it's only trading at twenty two cents and has a market cap of I don't know thirty two million dollars. So yeah, well, yep. Anyways, that is it for my video. Thanks for watching guys. I got another 15 seconds to kill before I am done But DPAC 
looking very positive this uh, positively this morning and workhorse also looks pretty good today anyways thanks for watching subscribe for future updates and have a great day bye